It's speed back gaming. Welcome back to my Heart to Buy in 4 series playing as the European Union. I got to this part and I was like, this is the end of the video. Unless you want more. And you guys evidently wanted more. So let's go for a world conquest. Hmm? So, there's going to be a several parts to this. Part 1 is going to be cracking all the majors. So UK, United States, Soviet Union and Japan. There are a few minors that could be a problem though. Australia, Raj, and Brazil, and Spain are quite hefty minors. Probably Yugoslavia too. Oh no, never mind. I thought they would have a lot more divisions than that, but they don't. Okay, so <clears throat> I stopped doing long, long, long form Let's Plays because I think they got a bit boring. Some, like near the end of the series, no one was watching them. So... If I find it's getting a bit boring, just grinding and wiping out miners, I'll I'll just cut that episode out and uh, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. If you guys really do want a completely unedited Let's Play of a World Conquest, feel free. But the boring part is, if I'm not really showing anything new in the video, I'm not going to really uh, show it to you guys. Anywho, so we are going to do a classic Torior trick here. I've been told that this is called Order 66. I've been told... I'm deciding to do it because I really cannot be bothered to actually do a proper world conquest. <laughs> well, I said it's proper. This is still going to be a world conquest. It's just going to be an easy way of doing it and cheesy way of doing it. Anywho, so we're going to get rid of you. We're going to get rid of you. We're going to make a new infantry template. It's going to consist of three infantry. Uh, no, probably less. Two infantry. That's good. And then we're going to milk these as many as we can make. Holding shift down, by the way, if anyone wonders why I'm adding five at a time. <clears throat> I go through different phases where I'm like, is it tutorial mode today or is it not tutorial mode? I don't know. Should I explain what I'm doing or should I not? So we have run out of manpower. That's the reason why they've gone yellow. And I'll pop this here. Okay. So we have our best infantry here. I feel we need to make it better too. Let me just take a few of these off. I haven't actually taken this into account. I really should make my infantry as well-rounded as possible. 22 combat with that's pretty good. Boom, go. And we're going to run out of manpower now, more than likely. Maybe not. Not going to worry about... Mmm. Mmm. Don't worry about that for now. Don't worry about that for now. I want to concentrate on making medium tanks. Because ideally, I like to add medium tanks onto my infantry. That would make them beautifully well-rounded. Oh my god, pumping those tanks out, boys. Alright, what do we do in this scenario? We build infrastructure in the capital, and we build a naval dot yard. Right now, we have so much excess civilian production, we need to spend it somewhere. You know what, we're going to turn France into literally a factory. A massive refinery. Okay! Yeah, so let's do what we need to do. So we are going to use Order 66 against the United Kingdom. We are going to do that by justifying on Yugo Slavia. Okay, so I'm going to take a guess at this. Just a shot in the dark here, boyos. Australia. No, it's not likely to be Australia. Not enough divisions and factories. Raj, on the other hand, that's looking to be a major. How about Canada? No. Okay, so my prediction is if I declare war on the UK, the Raj will become a major. That is my prediction. So we're going to do this. This. Who else is in the Allies? Ireland. Denmark. Probably should just do this with the big, the whole, the overall stack, shouldn't I? Uh, no, I changed my mind on that. We should really divide them up. Okay, let me just designate where I want these guys to be. I want them on the victory points. That's that's priority number one. Okay, now this feels like a, a really weird prediction in the dark, but Denmark is likely to join the Allies. Why? Because we've generated lots of world tension. If we're bordering a nation, that's if they're bordering a nation that's caused a lot of world tension, they're more likely to join the Allies. And being the fact they're democratic too, that makes it less, more, less, more, less, more, 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 less likely. 
That's right, that made sense. Okay, um... Okay. This is- I'm really making this up on the fly, by the way. This could be a catastrophe. Let's just see how it goes, shall we? I'm gonna make a full bot line here. Oh my god, this is such a guess. I really don't know how this is gonna go down. I really don't know how this is gonna go down. What about the tanks too? Where do I put the tanks? I've got too many of these. Take off 10. No, take off 15. Yeah, we're using a lot of our manpower right now on the artillery battalions. That's the reason why the manpower is ticking down. We're going to go for long range fighters. Oh, we've got the Together for Victory music. Is it because we're democratic? Is that what's forced that to fire through? Oh, we're going to spend our PP on prospecting too. And we are also going to hire a revolutionary? What? I know, crazy, huh? All right. Get all the tungsten from Portugal. Uh, steel from the USA. Oil from USA. I guess what we could do is build up most of the. Uh... No, we'll do that later. We're gonna. Are we gonna build infrastructure to get more resources? Which we will do at some point, but. We could, in the amount of civilian factories we've got right now, we could pretty much turn all of Europe into an autobahn. I'm not even kidding you. A massive frickin' motorway. 246 compared to... I bet they're catching up. They're very close. They are very close. Um, I guess what we could do is make some more civvies. It won't matter, because when we take out the UK, we won't need to. Anyway, so, Order 66, what is it all about? Tell me, Dave, what's it about? What, what do I need to do? Well, that's a very good question, sir. I'm about to show you. Okay, so here we go. Let's just make sure this manpower is stable before I do anything new. Um, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo make medium tanks. Medium tanks. Okay, there we go. For you. Do we, need, do we need any more manpower? I'm keeping an eye on that. One eye on it. Because I don't want to deploy these guys if I don't have enough manpower. Okay, where do we put the tanks? That's a really key question. Where do the tanks go? That is a good question. I think they're going to be better off in the Raj. And I think for now, I'm going to add them onto this general. Doesn't feel like the right choice. Ooh, no, that is the right choice. That's the choice. That's the one I want to make. Um, uh, actually, Doctrine. That's what I want to do. The Air Doctrine. All right, are we good on manpower now? Yeah, we are. Let's deploy these boys. Okay, so these are going to be infantry that are literally have only one job, and that is just to fill out the front line. Um, what do we got? Probably want a defensive guy, don't we? 3-3? Three, three, nah. 4-3? Three, yeah. And we are going to select most of this territory. Oh, wow, we get the Together for Victory Democratic music. And then as also, we also get... Actually, do I even want them here? No, I don't. Change your mind. Uh, we're going to have them in Denmark, though. 81 divisions. Perfect. We get the Together Victory music, and we also get the German marching music. What an interesting combination, boys. Okay. I want to explain what I've just done here. You know what I'm going to put here and here as well? 216 divisions, 210. Perfect. Okay, maybe we can do a little bit more, take out the victory points. Yeah, there we go. All right. So. We are justifying it will be done in quite a while. Hungary wants mediation, sure. So does Romania. Uh, give it all to them. Oh, it's a lovely fat Romania there. Denmark has joined the Allies. Ah! What a good guess, Dave. How did you know that was going to happen? It's almost like it happened in rehearsal, right? 
exactly what happened in rehearsal. Having a little bit of trouble with convoys here. In that case, I want you guys to switch out, shift you to the top. We're behind by about 20 convoys. Not too many, but 20 more than I would like. I'm like, I'm going to change this to police. Do you know what? I've just had a thought. A light bulb has just lit above my head. This would be better off being horses for the speed. It just requires more infantry equipment. Yeah, I'm down for that. Yeah, I'm down for that. Hell yeah. Boom. Done. Up there. Go. Yeah, we need more artillery. Uh, I think we want to go for... Oh, we can't. We can't afford it. We'll wait on that one then. I'd like to blast through some of these doctrines because there's a few air superiority ones that are really spicy. 10%. 20%. They're, they're the two spicy ones. We also want most of the air crew here, too. Uh, go here, go here. Alright. So, if my predictions are correct, UK and Raj will become majors. If my predictions are correct. Communist influence in the European Union. <laughs> Almost like they know what we're up to. <laughs> I wonder how they figured that one out. Huh? Dismantled the Maginot line. Is everyone positioned now? If you have a cheeky look, you can have a look here. So, Order 66 is the ability to take over an entire nation by declaring on a nation that they have guaranteed and bringing them into the war. Now, if I was you and I just heard that, I'd be probably shrugging my shoulders right now and saying, what the hell does that even mean? So I think this one needs to be demonstrated. If it gets demonstrated, I feel like it's easier to understand. But that's just a feeling. Just a feeling. We got the fighter yet? No. Oh my god, blasting through these doctrines. Blasting through them. We never actually upgraded the tacticals either, did we? Probably should do that. That's right, guys. Dave loves marching music. Official. Please comment below with your favourite marching music song. On the soundtrack for Hearts of Iron 4. You know what? I actually don't know them by name. Bring forth the tanks. So I hear this song and I'm like, oh, it's that one! And I'm like, look at the song list. And I'm like, what? The big, the big daddy majors in this game are the Soviets and the United States. I guess the UK too, but I'm going to find a way of getting around the UK. Narrowly wrapping around the UK's. So I like heavy fighters late game because they've got more range. Uh, Finland accepts Soviet demands. That was a uh, conflict narrowly averted, wasn't it? Um, we make a really reliable one. I'm always nervous to spend. So a lot of people in the comments get really ass pain when I'm not spending my, my points. But there are reasons in many instances why you want to save your points. Particularly if you want to make a division template and you haven't got the XP. That does really hurt. So it's best to save it. In some instances. Not all, but some instances. That's 100, 382 days. And it's one year ahead. That's on time, but it's 385. Okay, well, we know which one we're going for, boys. We need the Tungsten, please. I used to call it Tungsten. Well, it's Tungsten, isn't it? A few people in the comments got ass pained about that. Are we going to spend this episode talking about the things we've got ass pained about in the past? Oh my god, the list, guys. It goes on and on and on. Anyway, what we're doing? We're at 88%. Alright, how long until we've got? So, for this to go correctly, 
We need the UK to guarantee Yugoslavia. I've just realized there's no troops here. If we take out Denmark quickly, we can just move these guys over and take out the Yugoslavs. I have a feeling that Yugoslavia might be a major as well. That could be a problem. You know what? Just for the purpose of having a nice list, I'm going to demolish a few planes. Oh my god. Oh, who's angry in the comments, boys? Tell me how angry you are. I already knew some of you guys are already triggered. I can hear it. I can hear it in my ears. Hang on, the transport planes, where are those? Oh, there they are. <gasps> I just demolished four transport planes. What the hell, guys? Dave, I am mad. Madder than I've ever been before. You have upset me. Okay, so... Battlefield support doctrine minus 10%. Yes! Yes. We have 10 days for this, so I think I'm going to leave the faction now. Okay, so you notice I have troops based abroad, but I have left the faction. So how is possible that I have still have troops abroad, but they allow me to be inside of their nation? That is a very good question. You know what I just thought of? I could have actually asked for access, couldn't I? Do you think it would, if I left the faction, does this get cancelled as well? I never even thought of that. The one thing they'll do right now, the AI will try and move all the divisions. See, look, they're all trying to move. And I'm pressing H now to tell them all to stop moving. Please! Stop moving! Pressing H. Do not move. Stay where you are, gentlemen. I do not want a single one of you to move. I'm literally spamming the H key right now. Uh. Alright, we'll go for nukes. Oh my goodness, all the research finishes at the same time. Oi! No! Hang on a second, they're not moving anymore. For some reason, they want to move initially, but then they don't They don't want to move anymore. It's like, they get the order to move, and then they suddenly like, uh, nope. I feel like when Torio does this, he doesn't... I didn't know where my navy was here. Um, yeah, I think when Torio does this, he uh, he kills the order for the garrison. But I want to keep the garrison order open because it makes the troops wiggle around and capture more land automatically. And I don't have to micro that. And I love anything in Hoi 4 that I don't have to micro. There we go. It has been guaranteed by the UK. Perfect. The UK is like completely unaware that half of their army, well, sorry, half of my army is inside of their country. Oh my goodness. What could go possibly go wrong? We have got Slovenia, then we declare war. Potential enemies, the United Kingdom. So what happens now, the UK will join the war. Boom! Oh! Oh, what's going on? Madness! All right. This guy is my best division. Need you guys to attack. Oh, I actually like the fact that I've, uh, I can see the difference between the horses and the infantry. But I feel like when I tested this, I didn't do that. So I'm going to expect more nations to join this conflict now. We fight in the UK inside of the Raj. We captured Denmark. Yes, insta capitulate. Oh, I love it. I love it. We don't seem to own Rostith. Go here. South Africa, New Zealand's joined. Yugoslavia's joined the Allies. Denmark's gone. Malaya has gone. Like to all of you guys, 10 divisions. Gonna put you here just for defensive purposes. Go, go, go. We're about to lose London in a second. And when we lose London, so when they lose London, the UK should capitulate. Who are the major powers, you ask? Oh, it's the United Kingdom and just the United Kingdom. Well, that's perfect. I thought the Raj was going to become a major. Have they even joined the war? Yeah, they have. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> I love it. That is just ugly as hell. Now, you're probably wondering, why didn't I do a garrison order for these troops? Well, if I told them to capture victory points, particularly in the center of the Raj, they would be out of supply. So I wanted to keep the supply chain going through all the Raj from this port onwards. And that is the reason why I didn't go for garrison order there. Yeah, I've thought about this. You see, I went for it. I've thought about it. Oh, look. Okay, so we've completely annexed them. The question is now, though. Will the war continue? I don't actually know. And I have a funny feeling it is. Yeah, it is. 
bollocks. But the good news is we're going to be fighting a significantly weaker navy, so that's... I guess that's a plus. You guys coming across the world, they'll arrive probably in six months, probably. Oh no, so we're still at war with the, the British. Oh. And we're at war with the Aussies, right? I thought the way it worked is if they were... So why are they... I don't even understand how this has been calculated. Can anyone who is like a, like a wizard of wars and conflicts in Hoi 4, like, let me know what's just happened here. Because I presumed that if I eliminated all majors, that we won't run into this problem, but evidently we still have. Oh, we've still got the UK Navy too. Oh, that's such a ball ache. Okay, we've got another peace conference. This is good. No, this is really good. Because that means the UK Navy's out of service. So now it's the British, sorry, it's the German-Canadian War. You know, I want to explain this as well. German-Australian War. German-Canadian War. What the fuck? I, I don't even know anymore. What the hell is this game? What's going on, guys? Who's in this war, then? Everyone. So who is the major here? I can only tell by the colour, can't I? It's Australia, right? No, it's not. It's Canada. It's Canada. Does that mean because... So... This is my understanding of this. I could be completely wrong, but this brown colour of allies means it, it links to the nation that's the leader of the faction, right? In this case, the leader of the faction is Canada because it's the same colour, right? Right. It could be Australia because they're at the top. I'm not sure. If I take out Canada, they're considered a major power, right? So that means war ends, right? I don't know. Anyway, let's just hold... Oh, Denmark's capitulated. I... I thought these were all merged wars, but evidently not. Oh, and the war's over. Ah! What the hell is happening? I don't even know anymore. Well, I suppose in a way that's came out with a positive result. I don't have to fight some long, prolonged war against the, uh, the Allies now, I guess. Alright, so I guess we go for Allies 2.0, I guess. Um, there's a very high chance the US will join this war, though. Um, there's a high chance the Australians would become major powers, too. Think about this. So, taking out South Africa is easy because we've got a land border. Perfect. New Zealand's easy because they're just generally very weak, so you'll be able to take them out with ease. We're struggling with resources again. Just because we've got so many factories. Come on, America. You love us, right? You love us. Now they hate us. <laughs> Generated world tension. Two, minus 200 relations. Love Iceland. The factory list. Oh, it's got one factory now. Tell a lie, guys. Oh, I just miss factory Iceland. Alright, I'm wondering if I, they're not the leader, do I just do it again? <laughs> do I just do it again? Oh, I can't, because they're in the Allies, are they? Ah, okay. The justifying on Czechoslovakia. Interesting. Well, you know what? I'd actually prefer to be in the Allies. <laughs> Is there a way we can declare war on anyone through Focus Tree? Oh, <gasps> we could declare war on Denmark, and Norway, and Switzerland. 
I bet if we declare war on Switzerland, Canadians will join. Uh, sorry, the, uh, the United States will join on the faction of Switzerland. I bet they will. Anyway, it looks like we lost a few divisions, boys. Looks like they've got sunk. We need another... All right, go here. Go, go, go. All right. Okay, let's sort everything out. And we'll get prepared for War 2.0. Oh, no, 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 no. They're, they're here. Oh, I lost two. Okay, sorry. It's not, it's not end of the world. I wonder if this guy got any XP. Looks like he got XP here, but I don't know if that was from a previous war. He gained no cavalry leader trait. No, never mind. I don't think he did. All right. What factories have we got? An absolute crap ton. We have maxed out medium tanks. I think maxing out heavy fighters is probably going to be a good idea. Because it's going to be using aluminium and rubber, which we seem to have plentiful amounts of. Let's build the European Autobahn. Doing a lot better on manpower as well. There you go, guys. The UK has joined the EU once again. Bre exit, bre 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 entrance, bre bre in, bre invite, bre annexation. Ah, oh, something like that. Comment low for fancy terminology in the media for the UK rejoining the EU. All right. Uh, that's good. We go for more light cruiser. Bigs Marine. All right, so we are trying to go for Switzerland next. You know, I pretty much should just go for the major powers right now, shouldn't I? Yeah, to make the videos interesting, I think what I'll do is knock out Switzerland. Then we'll go for the common turn. It's going to be a messy one, that one, boys. What's this? Leningrad Industrial Institute. Oh, wow. Wow. And then, easy to take out Japan. Ooh, I don't know about that. Secure the Philippines. Okay, so that's going to bring Japan in, in the war with America. Interesting. Oh, interesting. All the, I've unified all those states now. Got all that sweet aluminium. Delicious. It's all those refineries we've gotten from uh, the UK. I promise they are a big sponge from our resources at the moment. Okay. Um, put you guys here. Perfect. And I think we can add a medium tank onto you now. Oh, I forget that we've got like a weird template set up, haven't we? It'll do. 3,000. Okay. All good. All right. So go here and do that and do this and do this and do that. Should we keep these divisions? Now nah, we can always just make them again. Now nah, we can always just make them again. I'm actually really curious to see who, what's gonna, who's gonna join war in this war. Mechanized wave and continuous offensive. It's going to be really cool to see in Man the Guns when you have the ability to half the time for doctrines by using combat XP. Be kind of a cool challenge, wouldn't it, to see how quickly you can like finish modern Blitzkrieg? That would be pretty spicy. I realize this this template isn't actually complete. Um. I don't usually change my template for infantry. It usually throws me off. Maybe it's my dyslexia talking, but I always seem to feel like I get really used to seeing a certain icon, so it's kind of what I prefer. I don't know, it kind of like secretly bothers me. Maybe I secretly have OCD, guys. D diagnose me, guys. Internet MD, diagnose me. Tell me what I've got. Okay, all right, so... Uh... Yeah, let's do just do Switzerland. I think we'll be good. Yes. Actually, I've conquered a few lands in the UK. I've forgotten about that, haven't I? Oh my God, look at all that Yorkshire steel, guys. Very good. 
I've got this here too. And it's just one infrastructure, like all those resources. Oh, dear. Actually, to be honest with you, we don't even need the, um, the rubber though, do we? So we can take out Norway through National Focus. We can declare war on the Soviet Union because they've caused world tension. So a little uh, nugget of info here. So to declare war as a democratic nation, you need to have 100% world tension or more. And then the nation needs to have created some kind of world tension. So as you can see, Czechoslovakia has not generated any world tension. So therefore, I cannot justify them. But Hungary, on the other hand, I can. Because it makes the two criteria. They've generated world tension, probably from annexing uh, Transylvania. And also, it's over 100% world tension. That's why I can do it. I can do it. How many planes you got? We're gonna have to run into a lot of problems if we've got too many planes, you know. That is gonna be a bit of a sore spot for me. Oh, free resources, you say? I'll take all of them. You know what? Discredit the government. Boom! 28%. Superiority, good. I'm gonna go for the. Ah, uh, we'll go for machine tools because we're probably maxed out on all these. Yeah, we are. All right, communist influence again. I guess that's somehow built into the democratic focus tree somehow. Like they're constantly nudging you towards communism, and you've got to kind of fight back against it by well, probably going to war with them. Balance of power of Europe. All right, let's let you two. Am I going mad? Am I going? Okay, that's nice. Thanks for that. Thought I'd position them all in Switzerland. Delete. 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 I was going to declare war immediately, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to now. Hungary has declared war on Czechoslovakia. What faction will they join? Are they going to join Japan? Czechoslovakia going to join the Allies? I don't know. We'll see. How long does this Casa Belli last for? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z Feedback Gaming. Hope you have an awesome day, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, boys.